Okay, so for the first part of this assignment, and how I would start off after I selected my portrait, is that I would open it up into Photoshop and just create our different shapes, pretty much. We just want to make this black and white. We need to change it into something that's very complicated, into something pretty simplistic so that we can create shapes and fill those shapes in with our text. So the first thing I would do is I would create a smart object because you want to have that smart object to make changes just in case. So let's create a smart object, double click onto the lower right hand corner of your thumbnail where that little icon is right here in your layers palette. So when you double click on that, it opens up a new layer or a new file. And you see that it should be the same as your original file, which is here. So this is my smart object. So I'm going to go in and first thing I'm going to do is click on your color adjustment and convert this into a grayscale image by going to um, we want to we want to go to hue and saturation so let's go there let's get rid of all the saturation of color to make it grayscale there we go we made a grayscale and there's two things that i want to do and i think the first part of this is that i want to save this so i'm going to go to file save and it should make the change to our original which is here so this is our smart object. I could click off of that and this is our original. So we still have that little icon over here. We could always get back to our smart object. All right, so we're in our original. Now what I do here, I could always come back into our smart object and have that preserved. So I can go, I wanna to go to filter gallery here and I wanna simplify my image. So I'm gonna use cutout. Make sure your cutout is selected. You see how it simplifies the image here. So you can mess around with your levels, your edge simplicity. Uh, I think it's simplified it quite a bit. So you can see that we lost our lightness in here just a bit. So I'm going to just hit OK. I'm going to go and double click into my smart object go back to the original and I want to make a little bit more contrast here so I'm going to go into brightness contrast and then I want to up the contrast see and then you want to hit file save and once this is saved we could delete we can just exit out of this file here by clicking the X you see how we brought in a little bit of light in here. And we could bring more. So what I'm going to do is go back into my smart object and I'm going to separate this so we could see both. So here, and I, I'm going to go into click into my contrast. So if I double click onto it, you see it's here, but um, there's our properties and we just want to lighten this up just a little bit make more contrast then i'm going to go to file save and you should be able to see it update here there yeah it looks a little better we have more we have a little more space here okay so i'm just going to go in here close out of this since it's already saved and one last thing that i'd like to do is I think we can go back into the filter gallery. If we double click on that one layer that I just did, um, we can see if we could adjust it just a bit more. So the edge simplicity may get on the four. Um, that looks pretty good. The levels, make the levels up. If we go too high on fidelity, I think it might might be too much because you see all the gradation of lines. So we want to bring that down to as much 
as close as possible that without losing too much definition. Maybe the edge, I think that that just popped back up. Let's see what this does. All right. I think we've got to bring this simplicity and make it not that much. We don't want to change our image. Five looked pretty good, but that we just have too much in there. I don't know if this is really, you can't really see. Bring the levels down to four. Yeah, this, this should work. It makes it a little bit more simple. I'm going to hit OK. And what I'm going to do is, let me zoom out just to make sure. OK, so that isn't too bad. OK, so I'm going to go to File. I am going to, we can export this as a PNG. So we could go to File and export, quick export as PNG, and let me call it portrait. All right. Now I'm going to stop here and start a 